What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And it turns out, like I, I, sh I should have deployed those troops from Scotland to Edinburgh, no, Scotland to um, Madrid, because they are within range of our capital. Um, so the mission is to do as much damage as possible for forces raised in Lisbon to then march east, and probably some from England as well. So without further ado, let us... Well, yes, we will lose this fight, but the aim of the game is to do not do is get in the way of our plans in Big old sneeze But anyway, so our main strength have artillery so they will get in <gasps> They've got a way in Okay, two ways in But I'm gonna hope and this is a hope at this point that they focus on one way in it's a, it's a shame i've not got um it's a shame i've not got more comprehensive forces a prob and i mean they will probably maybe climb up the wall somewhere else um, but what else does that give me? It gives me a unit of light infantry, some firelock armed citizenry. We're probably going to sit back here and just be fodder. Might position you guys like that. You can hit them with round shot, just. Like they will get they will get in. It's inevitable. Okay, yeah, keep them firing round shot. We do have a unit of militia that's coming in right at the back. Ultimately, uh, if we don't if we somehow manage to win here, then all that's gonna happen is we are going to just delay the inevitable. Switch to quick lime. Reload. So the thing with mortars is you can't really give them orders. Um, it just things just go really badly when you do that. quick lime. Yes, onto that massive block of men. We may not win this day. But we will make them pay a terrible price. Oh no, they've got another way in. I didn't see that one. Um, okay. Fingers crossed they don't see it. You guys just keep hammering. Quick lime home. Coming in everywhere. Nothing we can do, man. Why does I have to do such a comprehensive job of getting in? Wait a minute. These guys shouldn't... Well, realistically, these guys shouldn't all be... Uh, there shouldn't be the quite this many breaches. Okay. You guys drop into square. You guys can suck in the Mamelukes when they get here. Folks firing this Nizam unit. Thankfully, they're not killing the 155th, which is quite a significant. No. Why would you. How have they captured the gatehouse? They must have a spy in here. You guys, if you just stay in square, then the Mamelukes ain't gonna bother you, Sam. See, they do. Yeah, they must have a spy in the settlement. That's why they can get in so easily. 
Yeah, that's going to be the... Yeah, that's what's going to end it. More so than anything. Uh, we might have had a shot if we had a way to... Well, if we could reliably control the ways into the territory. Into the, into the city. But we can't do that. Especially as our howitzers are now unfortunately targeting the wrong unit. Although... Yeah, this got a unit of militia that's trying to stand strong here. You guys are pouring fire into the hand, into the mortars. It's not bad. Oh god! The Nizam are coming out in diamond formation. Arrowhead formation, like a. Oh, they're gonna get the guns. Hit the Mamelukes. Oh yeah, we're so done. question is oh here come the bashies as well god damn their spies so even with a, a regular army this would be a bit tricky but I don't know if there's a link between I don't know if there's a link between well to be honest I don't really know how you stop spies to be honest in comes the quick line. Through the walls, it's taken a few enemies. But ultimately, all of these battles, things just don't look good. Because we've just got firelock armed citizenry not doing very much. You guys instead are going just gonna charge into the rear of their formation just to try and do damage. But ultimately. You know, we've got non-melee troops engaged in melee with guys that are the Bashi Bazooks and all those lovely people. But we've got the army coming down from the north. We've got forces growing in, uh, in, in Lisbon, which should be able to help recapture the city. You guys just load and fire as quickly as you can, damn it. All my men are wavering. They're all engaged, so let's just fast forward time and watch how things happen. I mean, the quick climb is still... I mean, it is doing more damage to us than them, but at this point, they are a spent force. That's a good quick climb right there. That went straight through here. Cairo Janissaries. These men originated in Egypt. Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Yeah, let's just speed up time, because right now this is a bit of the inevitable here. This is a classic example. My uh, armed citizenry. This sort of ratio is good for armed citizenry. All these guys against three Nizam Infantry. Then I start to feel okay, but uh, it's the rest of it. The odds don't look quite so good. They are fighting bravely. Two men, two units have fled the field from the main gate. As the quickline continues to pound in, our men are falling one at a time. It's our general's battery that's holding. Just hold. Hold till the body hold until my general's bodyguard can clean up the clean up the map. Oh, 
this is it. So it's going to start to start to degrade. Charge the camels! <laughs> Charge the camels! No men to intercept near the ha near the mortars. Just shoot at anyone you can now. At this point, yeah, the camels have been knocked out. Those guys have been knocked out. Hold on, hold the phone. Round shot. Folks fire those guns at the back. Hit the hand mortar block in the rear. You guys keep firing. They're charging into the back of their men. Wait a minute. Oh no! I thought I might have a shot. <laughs> I thought I might be able to pull this one out of the bag. Turns out the answer was no. If we can make if we if we could make this infantry guard unit route, I don't think we can physically stop the uh, this Nizam unit from just killing us all. Like, the unit there is shaken, steady. Yeah, there go my guys. God, so close. So close. If we can knock out the Janissary Guards, their army may bug out and not attack, and then the city would remain Disaster. in our hands. So we might be about to lose a whole... Pretty much Madrid is about to take a big step backwards when it comes to, comes to development, because they might want to uh, demolish some of their buildings. Some of our buildings. Proper Bugs Bunny communist hours meme here. But yeah, we, need, we just need more men to fight the Ottomans. That's what it comes down to. To the point where I may even push my army out of Venice, eastward. So you can't go anywhere dangerous. You can make it to the city. You're raiding my religious buildings, which is fine. These buildings are all yours that you're breaking, or that used to be yours anyway. That's not too terrible. The key will be pushing forward. And that's it, really. I mean, I'm still really worried about Sweden, but it's possible actually to try and maybe get peace with them. Maybe. Like I said, we have taken Finland and uh, Stockholm from them. And, and they do, while they do have significant amounts of firepower to bring to bear, it could be enough. It could be enough to bring them to the negotiating table to make peace with Sweden. Yeah, so I've lost you. I mean, come on. There we go. Enrico. Let's just take cavalry. Enrico, embark. Get to Brest. That's probably the better plan. Let's go and embark his forces. Sail you down to Bilbao. disembark the army. Let's give them an immediate threat that they have to make a decision to deal with. Then march over towards the... No, not to the... Not that way then. Okay, go... Can you not go? What? Is it because you're in the way? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's get... Medusa back to Brest. Let's get you back into the port. You. Okay, Lisbon. You don't need any more military buildings. You need infantry. 
at least for now, maybe build an infantry and build a gunnery school to just pick up more... You keep churning out artillery while this is going on. Because I need to hop over here. How's your replenishment doing? Not great. You get back into Athens. Okay, so how many good units have we got to mix out? Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To be honest, at this point, militia might even do. You can recruit provincial cav and that's it, but I'll probably take that still. You guys are going to have to merge to not be completely useless. Same with you, I think. That's freed up two more spaces, which I probably put. Hmm. Unit of guns and a unit of infantry, I think. Stop on the heavy horse guard artillery. That's a lot of men you can recruit in one turn from Athens there. Great the engineer school. So you're kind of in a bit of a funk right now. Just sat there not really able to do much. You are probably going to start recruiting a anti-raiding force, I think. It's probably going to be the good idea. Let's get some household cavalry and then get a howitzer. Maybe two units of cavalry. Something lighter. Get a regiment of horse for the two chevrons of experience. So it's an army like structure like that would probably be good to take on Something like these guys. Maybe even those guys. Although you're not really need... Okay, you're going to go here to try and block any reinforcement of their push south. Right now I've got one guy coming in. Although that might actually make him vulnerable to a... To be intercepted and sandwiched. I could take you guys and march on to take them. Which is probably a good idea. Because right now this is still going on. The trick will be, if and when they rebel, um, well, I doubt they'll rebel and completely throw off the yoke of imperialist, uh, the imperialist Ottoman Empire. But the hope would be that we can swoop in and attack them before that happens so that they don't form a new independent state and make lots of friends. Okay, you're not needed to deploy south, but you may prepare to deploy in support of our operations. So, as part of that, let's take Sweden. Peace. Trading once more. So we've made peace with Sweden, so now our territory is... the territory is ours. So then we can build sloops to hold our ports upgrade the church school we will probably keep troops nearby the troops we've got currently in the region so that, that, that will cause us problems in, in you know down the line probably um, but right now we need that fi we need firepower to help take on the Ottomans. So send these ships newly recruited to Roberto Amoroso. Fifth rates can go and raid their coastline. Raid Gaza, raid Beirut, raid Latika. Can't raid their capital, well, Anatalia. Well, you can, actually. Raid Izmir once more, then get back to Heracleon. Probably try and pick up some fourth rates to boost your strength. So you need to keep recruiting. 
I would like this army rec that's recruited to go and clean up the area around Sophia. I think the action to take is you push on and hit to Mr. Talik. But what I'd like to do is take this sloop and send you to... Man, no one really, nowhere really needs you. Okay, might send you to go sit in their capital then. You may as well do some damage while you're sat there. Let's upgrade one of our ports. Actually, it's probably upgrade a port in Great Britain because it's a bit more of a safe haven. But then again, the only the only need global trading companies. In which case, then. Well, the very least Oran, which is poor rather than very poor. I want to keep some money because I'm going to take Mr. Torricelli. Send you to hit Bayezid Tev Tevlik. Let's take him out. Pushing. I would like to send more into the Middle East, into their actual homeland, but we don't have the firepower to do that. We need to really focus. That's the only place we can realistically put a... Put a battle-winning force together. So let's form a front line. We've got an entirely... Oh, let's go more towards this hill. We've got a more howitzer base. Well, not entirely. Oh, that's a nice little defensive position, actually. We have an entirely howitzer-based artillery solution. You guys stay out of the way for now. So these guys... They're our backbone. Okay, try quickline their artillery first, because quickline is quite good at taking out gun crews. We've got so much to fire in one salvo. Pfft. Takes out, doesn't take out a single gunner. Okay, let's speed up time, because they think they're going to march out of range. Well, that ain't going to happen, because if they do that, then I will just come back into range. Well, I'll just push my line up. Come on, how it is. Fire! Okay, damaged one foot artillery unit. Okay, if that's the game they want to play, which is, which is entirely within, within there. Nope, I hear charge. Keep letting my howitzers shoot out of their guns. Because they're all nicely clustered together. For our destruction. We do have the Sipahi. And the Dirty Horsemen. They're doing, they are doing a bit of a... Kamikaze run. Maybe the game's AI... Their internal logic has changed. With the loss of uh, a good portion of their artillery. Because they're definitely moving up now when previously they were fleeing. Square, but you can stay. You've got just Delhi Horsemen, which I'm not bothered about. My gunners focus on their gunners, and it looks like we are winning that engagement. Two guns remaining, two guns remaining, two guns remaining. Hmm. But they're all upset. Sapahi have fallen back. My cavalry get back. And the general's bodyguard. You guys form up. Let's start to send. No, maybe not. Maybe don't shoot with a janissary unit with quick climb because you know they're just going to be running straight to your lines. 
Okay, the lighter guns. Quick climb. Uh, close range targets. Heavy artillery. Focus on the enemy. Cavalry. Hook around the left. Make sure you do go around. This cavalry to hook around. Janissaries. I'm gonna mow you down. Gotta be careful of the hand mortars near the howitzers, though. I think that's where the Muslim are going to go. They're gonna go try and set my cavalry. infantry out of dodge. Let's make sure my my light artillery pieces are engaging the right targets. Okay, there go the Janissaries. The Muslim are upset. Push them up. Push this line up, because they're only Muslim if we're going to engage them. Switch targets with my light guns to go hit the hand mortars to the rear. You guys engage the general's bodyguard. It might be a bit too much for you to handle, but I think you'll be okay. You guys go in to charge the Muslim. Our battle line advance. You chase down the Janissaries, you chase down the Muslim, you guys chase down that unit of Muslim, which I've broken anyway. Definitely want you onto the Janissaries though. Let's bring my general down here to go take out that unit. of my guns engaging back here. They should be. We are winning against their general's bodyguard, which is nice. And then push up. Although, actually, let's get all our guns to start focusing on the hand mortars because they are the more dangerous threat at the back of the map. Take guard mode off my infantry here. Keep on mowing them down. My infantry's starting to get hit by... Is that a shrapnel shot? Could well be. Looks like some of our artillery is not engaging what we want them to. The general's been killed. You're having a great fun against them, but they've now retreated. send my cavalry in to take to weather the initial hand mortar attack stop all our artillery fire you chase down the hand mortars you chase down those guys okay ignore bad guys Ignore the um, the Muslim. They're not 
priority target. Get my infantry to run at the Azars. Very blunt way to end this episode, but, uh, you know, sometimes you don't need the best tactics to win. So these guys are going to... Technically, they're skirmishes. We don't really want to be charging our infantry up to them. But, again, they are skirmishes, so they aren't, you know, the best... You know, they're, they're skirmishes. If you can weather the shots to get into close range and they don't fall back, then, you know, why not? If they'll just let you walk up to them and cut them down... So I suspect those guys will probably route the Pandora, so let's just focus on the Azars. General's way out of it, he's not going to get involved. These guys are probably going to route, but I'm... yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're gone. We're not going to get there in time. Sad face. But, that was a good victory. Forces that were on their way to Greece have been cut down to 300 men which is the sort of thing we want to see so let's send some replenishment orders through I don't think there's immediately anything we want to do here, like I said, you're only replenishing a set of guns I mean the governor's barracks would allow us to produce infantry and actual cavalry But I'm hoping in five turns that won't really be necessary. But we'll do it anyway. So you're en route to do some damage. Spain already hates them, so they can't afford to leave the city. Good. Let's hit end turn. On our pr onward our priests go. So we do have the army in Tripoli that's not doing anything, and that's kind of by design. Uh, right now we don't have the we don't have the firepower behind us to go and attack the Ottomans at Cairo but I don't want to move them and commit them somewhere else where they might be useful in future yeah here come the Ottomans one thing we do want to do is take Okay, the army that sat down in Cairo, or the navy I should say, sail up the Adriatic and get a look at what's going on there. Okay, auto-resolve that. Let's see how many men we can kill. 700! That's great. Uh, do not intercept. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they've decided to abandon Madrid because they can't hold it. Which I think I'm okay with, in the grand scheme. Good. The Swedes are redeploying their navies into their existing ports. Which again, it does help concentrate them, at the very least. But that's so many men. That is so many men. So many men, if they concentrate anywhere, I can't really fight them. But again, that's why I'd like to have the Balkans, because it starts to open up a wider front to advance. Which again, does kind of benefit them, because they have more men to cover more fronts. But they seem quite happy to have their armies sat in Western Europe. Watch. Yeah, so you, this army's been lost. But you just march straight past them, because they have no movement points. Demand the surrender of the garrison. <laughs> the city is ours again. Everything's been destroyed. This guy is going to go south. So you want to stop building that. Let's take these ships. Sell them up to Porto. Let's take you two guns. See if we can move you. We can. Okay, so let's pick up the sloop that hasn't gone anywhere, Concordia. Sell you back to Sandy Bay. Actually, I've got a... Pl 
plan. You take those men, sail north, navy, sail here to prevent a crossing. Now they can take Gibraltar, and that's all they can take. All the while, the army at Lisbon is growing, ready to respond. So you, and Yeho Fierro, you need some cavalry. Let's get two heavies. Get you of lights. Let's get you some better infantry and some howitzers. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with the infantry I've got now. Just that it's... Four turns and they'll be done. What do you want to do, Mr. Camille? Are you going to come back to Madrid? Granted, everything is destroyed. You did not knock down the university. and Everything else seems relatively... Um, untroubled. Although, let's upgrade the pleasure gardens. You're going to carry on growing. Okay. To be honest, I could probably just do a drive-by of their ports. Like this. Shipyard. Shipyard. So what is there? A couple of fourths and fifths. No ships. But that could change. Okay. You guys combine with the ships of Heracleon. All of you bar Mr. Izzet. Come up here. Block Ragusa. Then you and your fourth ship of the line solo are going to block Alexandria. They are very vulnerable here. But that's why I'd kind of like to hope to remedy with a few thirds. Thirds are quite a nice balance. They're good war fighting ships, but you can produce. You can see you can produce a good number of them quite quickly. Doki. Let's get a lower cost of. Let's get a, um, a quality of life upgrade there. Can't wait till I finish recruiting so I can get rid of the one university and get you guys doing something more useful. Seville, you've run out of. Every oh, it's because we've just recaptured you, isn't it? Um. What were you on? Top guns, wasn't it? Oh, it was carronades. Ah. We lost that tech. Church school in Bulgaria has been built. Okay, this small... Actually, to be honest, I could probably just deploy Mr. Contarini onto the field. And this garrison that's being recruited can eventually fall into a full army. So let's just build some artillery. 28,000. Oh, it's because we've Blockaded trade to America. Oh, is it because of this damaged port that we can't repair anymore? Maybe. Down to 28,000 a turn. Because I don't think any of our ports in America specifically have been targeted. Hmm. Okay. Hop back over to Europe. You guys are replenishing. Here's a couple more full stacks coming down from the Balkans. But you, Mr. Alfranco, you don't have any cavalry. But you could be on. Push on to Zagreb. So let's maintain you under siege for now. But right now, Sarajevo is unprotected. We don't have any agents I can send forward to scout. I mean, I could scout you. Send you over to Vienna. The Prussians are keeping them honest up here in Vienna. So that gives us a good opportunity down south. You guys sit in the capital, which is also unhappy because of the university presence. Don't want any light infantry. Um, I think I'm going... Oh. You don't have any defences, so it's more of a field army. But I probably need to fight a couple of fights. So I think, Mr. Torricelli, you need to fight 
this force here at Kazani to destroy it. You need to fight this force here, Andrianpol, to destroy it, and then you need to attack the sit the uh, force here at Zagreb. So let's go down here, Mr. Torricelli. Hit Kozani. Let's go take out this raiding force once the population of Istanbul. And I'm hoping if I take Zagreb, then that will f cause some of their troops to turn around. Until now, been fairly benign from their perspective. So our forces are significantly stronger than theirs. Form a battle line and push. That's the order of the day. Group all my cavalry up on the right. General on the left. Start. Obviously they've all... They know their own weaknesses. Come on. Move you up here. Probably can speed up time a bit just because it's a lot of maneuver and not a lot of a lot of fizzle, not a lot of pop. So they're forming their guns up. Got the semi Janish is at full strength, hand mortars are at full strength. They've done some replenishing, that's for darn sure. They're going to want to uh, do some manoeuvres fairly quickly. Because all of these guys are going to add limber. And because they're... Uh, okay, how are you doing for range? Not great. Round shot. Focus on this unit of 24 pounder howitzers. While I begin to advance my line. There you go, the shells rain down onto the 24th howitzers. But it does not upset them. You guys are going to... Ha! We've met their skirmishes, so I'm going to set all of my line to run. So that we can get up into position. These units can turn their flank, because right now they have... We're quite safe to do that. Some Delhi horsemen are pushing up. There's Pahi are pushing up. Counter charge with one. One regiment of horse go in, hit the 24th howitzers. You guys drop into squares. Fire by rank is going to cut these guys down. So is it against the grenadiers that they turn? Looks like they're just running back and forth. Let's just focus on... Okay, light guns work on the hand mortars, heavy guns work on the janissaries, and again give that give that order to something else for the light guns, because it looks like Zipai just sat there charging back and forth across my lines. You guys hold fire. Kill the last gunner. Charge on into the irregulars. Okay. Give him a hand.
push out my line. If they want to get involved in melee combat with their low quality troops, I am happy to oblige. Okay, so let's take the cavalry. They can charge on to go intercept that unit of Muslim to the rear. General, stay back. Right, you charge them down. You charge them down. These guys just run up and continue to engage. And then, to be honest. set all of you to attack the general's bodyguard I suppose okay well that line you can to be honest just spend your time shooting into those guys that are routing you men run but I don't think you will because you've been caught Run the hand mortars up on the flank of the. Run my infantry up onto the flank of the, the hand mortars, set my light infantry to be the lambs, if you like. There we go. Come on, Marines. Hit them. Then I want my second unit of guards to be a reserve. Let's get my general out of dodge. Let's bring over this regiment of horse. I don't know why my marines are running away from... against my general. I don't understand why he decided to do that. Get my infantry in on the charge on the hand mortars. Stop my artillery firing because their general's been sucked into the fight against my infantry. Okay. Regiment of Force chase down the Janissaries. My general run into the centre. So right now it looks like a... Okay, let's bring you out of the fight against the Semini because you don't need two units to prosecute that. You guys get out of the way. Let's get the regiment of horse to hit hand mortars. And we're going to continue at triple speed. You guys stop firing. Same with you. Uh, general, go after the hand mortars as well. I doubt the hand mortars are going to hang around for long. All my cavalry looks engaged. Yep, they've been taken out. So go hit the Janissaries, but the fifth. I have confidence the fifth can take out two men. Decisive victory. Awesome. So it's cleaned up that army behind the lines. Avanti e marcha. So again, you need to spend a lot of money on replenishment. Oh, it's one hell of a relief column. Okay, let's march you up. Let's get five, five out. Five in. One, two. Weakened unit of infantry. And the militia, you come back. Two, three. Good stuff. Now the bulk of my good infantry is okay. My cavalry. Actually, let's get a unit of the 5th Regiment of Horse out to replace them with the 3rd Dragoon Regiment. I mean, we've got a bunch more infantry back here as well. Um, well, that's not necessary, necessary really. So you guys are just a good relief column. 
you guys you guys are all right and you are gonna probably gonna auto that fight god damn we lost 400 men that's not too bad actually yeah we're not gonna be able to replenish which is which is okay uh i think trouble is do i just hmm Trouble is, do I want to attack them on a turn where I have no money to replenish? Probably not. So I'm going to hit end turn. As our agents continue on their pilgrimage. Uh, they demand trade for Gibraltar. No. They want access to the, uh, the med, and I don't want to give it to them. They want access to the rest of the world, they don't want to give it to them. Okay, so here's the Ottoman response. They're going to push me out of their port, I would imagine. Oh, they're bringing up troops from Cairo to the northeast. Not building anything in that town that we could see previously because that indicates they might be having financial problems they can't exploit the opportunities all of their towns are providing we okay, you've pushed in to attack this force here and you know what we're going to defend we're going to defend another ottoman army and they are going to wish they never declared war on us, which they did with their cowardly assault in means. What kind of strategy is that? Oh, lovely, lovely battlefield to provide an excellent field of fire. Provide, put some infantry behind our lines just to, as a bit of a response force. Again, our big old line of howitzers get just far back, far enough back that they don't, uh, there's no risk of them charging through my infantry, hitting the guns. Do they have any artillery? They do. It's all howitzers as well. Maybe pick different guns. At the very least, if they can't quick climb, if I can't quick climb them, they can't quick climb me. Okay, here comes their cavalry advance. Field guns. Or oh, my light how light howitzers go for their go for their cavalry, heavy howitzers, focus fire. Some of their guns. Damn, they can quick climb me. That's not fair. But I mean, we did just do that to them. Oh my god. Methinks we've thinned them out somewhat. <laughs> oh damn. Pahi have been engaged. They won't make it to our lines. Nope. They've broken. Our light guns changed target against some of their nearer range threats great shot into the 11th there again they don't really have any they don't there aren't any weaknesses in our line they have to try and punch through an infantry formation which isn't easy especially if they're going to sit back and engage us in skirmish fire Long range artillery. The sh oh, 12 pounders are fairly useless. So let's re target some of their trickier infantry units. Good. Okay, if we're going to push up, we want to push up 
hard and fast. With the same strategy that we've done before. Actually, let's focus on the tricky infantry just over here in general, actually. push up as far as they'll let us. My cavalry flank around the rear. Third Regiment of Dragoons, get your... Pull your finger out. Yeah, they got quick climb. That's why I've got my regiment of horse getting involved. There, Nizam see what I'm doing. Hence the retargeting. They want to charge my cavalry, so you hit them. Send my cavalry around. They've mounted up their guns because they see what's happening. They're pulling back some of their infantry because they see what's happening. But it's too late. It looks like there might be a bit of a battle in the centre. So let's get my dragoons over here. And there we go. Their howitzers are in disarray. Charge into the rear of their formation. Push these guys up to absorb the blow from the Janissaries. So you guys should do some good damage to these Muslim. God damn, our foot guards look splendid. Look at that. Holy hell, I need some more of them. Come on, deploy. Let's see if these guys can do some damage. So the job of you, your guys' job is to chase down enemy troops we don't like. Everyone else attack that unit of Muslim, I guess. You guys stop firing in general. Push up maybe more to there. There you can fire. You hit the Janissaries. Push up these men up and out of the way. Good stuff. So you've managed to orchestrate a bit of a breakaway. Breakaway. Push up my line. Am I losing men here? Because of your pursuit, doesn't look like it. Good stuff. You got one Janissary Grenadier left. Oh, what's the Zim and appointment were a wavering. They were routing. Continue, yes, you guys get into the pikemen. You guys carry on with the Nizam. Uh, eh, to be honest, they've not got a lot of good units that I want to take out. Uh, the Semat would be nice to take out, but I'm probably best served bringing my cavalry generally into the centre. Muslim, they're not very good units. They're like arm populace. Okay, thank God you're not attacking a unit. I'm already 
chasing down. Pikemen are handy to take down. I'll, I will attack Muslim if there's nothing else to attack. Um, but yeah, in general, they're not a fantastic unit. If you've got pretty much any other um, enemy to attack, then it's probably advisable to attack them first. That was a rather delicious slaughter of enemy troops. So they've gone. Ah, this unit here is the last unit on the board. Decisive victory. God damn, that was a decisive victory. Look at that. We lost 400 men, they lost nearly 3,000. I don't care how many men they can produce, they can't keep going at that rate. Does my sloop want to intercept? No. Does my other sloop want to intercept? No. Ah, they're going to... Oh, they're heading towards Paris. Yeah, I knew you would go for Gibraltar. What a resolve, Mr. Is it? Sadly, we lost my admiral. But we know where their lone second rate is. He's sat there on Cyprus. Do you want to lure them to attack? No. Okay, we need to reinforce to the east. They've bypassed our force but that's good they split their force up rather than concentrating on the capital they actually split it up that's quite promising hmm they can't have that many uh yes you're in, you're tr interrupting trade there which is not good that's quite a, a huge loss actually to us so we want to take this fleet over here and just knock them out. Just knock them out at whatever cost, almost. Don't want the brig. Oh, my sloops got involved in that one. Can you guys get into Nice? Actually, let's get one of you over to Port Mazuro. You guys replenish because you should have. Oh, is that. Next turn. It's probably not good. I've not got anyone there to act as a garrison for that for Syracusa. Yeah, through that one act of blockading, they actually did. They actually did uh, quite a lot of damage when it comes to uh, our ability to uh, our ability to make money. So you, and you, march south to get ready to engage this guy. Slightly understrength army, but you've got lots of, you've got lots of gumption. Uh, to be honest, you guys just come out and auto the rebels. Because you don't... I mean, there's not. Hmm. So I'm generally, I'm just curious about the val the value of this university. I mean, if I knock it out now, it kind of it solves my it solves my problem when it comes to uh, public order. Keep building, keep building. Good fleet destroyed. Oh, yeah, that was my general over here. Too bad. Pick up another pair of fourths here. Repair. University here. Replenish there. I mean, if I were a betting man, this guy's looking for a way around to get to Istanbul, which ain't going to happen. But what would be good is to get ready to push up through there while also um, attacking the garrison at Zagreb. But looking at the timer, 
I believe it's tied into in the episode. I think it's actually been a pretty good one when it comes to progress. I mean, Spain's been a bit of a kick in the pants, but to be honest, generally, we've pasted the uh, Ottomans at every turn. So I think this should be quite nice. Quite a nice way to kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the, uh, the Slaughter of Zagreb. Cheers, everyone.